Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiser Redux playing as that the Commune of France. We're going to talk about elections because we're going down a certain route in this Kaiser Redux branch in order to have no fuel or logistics. Due to the presence of trade unions within the Communard army it's become over overly politicized. Creating tensions within the guarantee of national integrity and the arm of syndicalist revolution, this has resulted in the incumbent chief of staff, the popular civil war general Maurice Gamelan. Having to step down, the French syndicalist military leaders, mostly Cerulians, had decided to ask the soldiers who they wished to lead the French army before definitely dissolving the military trade unions. Ah, uh, c'est traveleur? Jacobin? A Cerulean? Or anarchist? Ooh. I'm gonna go with Mr. Cerulean, which is usually the way... I think the normal one I choose for common fans, and then again, I don't play this nation a whole bunch, but I have played them probably the most out of a couple other nations, whatever. The war with Germany is clearly inevitable. This nation holds hostage our brothers in Alsace and Lorraine, with its many puppets in the Reichspact. It stands as the main counter revolutionary power in Europe, if not the world, tyrant over hundreds of millions of people. This will stop, we will avenge them all. The first Valkyrie was not the last, and day two, or election day two. The Rennes General. Uh, due to its key purpose, oh look at this guy's oh, smoker. Yes, uh, due to the key purposes over external internal security matters, the position of director of the Comité de Renseignement General is recognized as one of the keys to preserving power in the Commune of France. And it's crucial for the destruction of political rivals. It can be a terrible weapon in the hands of one extremist faction, Jacobins and Sorelians. Oh, no. Oh. My fingers up. And social education. The education of the French Republic was in many ways excellent, allowing the average citizen to obtain a large knowledge in science and arts. We seek to uh, continue working on this legacy, ensuring that the French schools always have learning and education as a primary goal, not hierarchy and discipline like in some reactionary countries. But internal security. Charles Rapaport has resigned his post of delegate for internal security to compete for the Foreign Affairs post. Former chairman Masso Pivet uh, still hopes to preserve his political future and has managed to get endorsed by the Trevelo wing and is now grappling for the post with his son Jacobin Maurice Torres, Cyrillian General Marcel Bouchard, and young Macno's disciple Maurice Jo. Jo Yo? Ah, Bouchard. Because. I'm totally not going to go down this path that I'm doing this right now. We totally, and we do need to elect the Cerulians, so. The Cerulians, yes please. And economic affairs. Today's election seems to be a publicite on the commune, of the commune's economic policy, implemented in recent years. Many vision, visions of the future of syndicalist economy, more or less concentrated on industry or agriculture, are in competition. All of them are crucial for the future of final struggle with against Germany. Jacques Doriot, the war economy and agriculture? Why not for now? Thank you very much. But yeah, we're going to go social education to get a fifth research slot as fast as possible, which will be great or grand. Day 5, Foreign Affairs. On the final election day, one of the leading issues of the Commune of France is raised diplomacy, which carries a difficult task of spreading the revolution throughout the world and preparing for revenge against Germany. And the very existence of the syndicalist international is not yet in danger. The future th theaters of world revolution will be defined today. Anti-German revanchism. Yes. Yes, we are... Oh, the results, the story the majority. Elections finally gave power to the national syndicalist faction of the Commune of France, staunch followers of the revolutionary theories of Georges Sorel, and eventually destroying all Jacobin foes who are now victims of a bloody purge throughout the country. Georges Valois has replaced Faure as the chairman of the BGT. A new age has begun in French politics after the weakness of the Trevelo era now. It's time to decide who will lead Valois' cabinet, Marcel Deat or Marcel Boucard. Revolutionary Legion marches on, the commander Boucard will lead the faction. A loyal comrade Dayat shall lead the cabinet. Turtles party, Cerulians? Huh. Uh, I don't think it really matters too much. Yeah, a lot of it's still the exact same because this one we just want to elect Cerulians no matter what. I'll go down the tree. Which would be nice. Ooh, which one do we want? Masa, Bocard. Um, Prove Relations goes down. Jacques Doriot. I always go with Bukhar, he's a flamboyant brute. He loses a lot of political power though, which I don't like. This guy loses even more, screw that. Hello, Georges. Ah, uh, it would be a shame if he were to... <clears throat> ...pass away, so to speak, because of issues. But after this one, we're gonna go just... We're gonna do social education, and then this one, and then we'll go down that other way, so. We'll see what happens. We will see, definitely see what happens. And the trains are killing themselves. Marshal Wu Pai Fu backs on Ching. Well, good for you, sir, good for you. And we one day left, so we get more war sports. We can get just cracking on the economy faster, 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 as fast as possible as we're training in. I have nothing here. Develop unit of Britain, huh? So we get 0.86 every single day, which is not bad. But yeah, I want to rush towards the Blanqui Research Institute, but Germany bans the foul. The Free Workers Union of Germany, the Freie Arbeiter Union Deutschland, is an anarcho syndicalist trade union that has been operating in Germany uh, since its creation in September 15th, 1919. 
They have been free to operate, but the German government has just decided to arrest its leaders and ban the organization. How should we react? Go to war? Yeah. While well, some nations resist the teachings of science, France endorses them without nuance. Let us support the establishment of new research institutes aimed at furthering our technological superiority. Where reactionaries doubt every discovery and stand wary of change, we embrace them and become stronger every year. I wonder. This one says develop the Union of Rome, which would be nice. But. That's way. Oh, we're already on marginalization oh, already. Um, I do want to start working on some of this as well. That's kind of generic stuff, though. And 150. Uh, I think I'm going to wait to spend a political power on this. Societe Melodique de Normandie. Plus 15% is nothing to laugh at. Build, build, build. And we have some coffee to, to sip, 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 sip on. And do really well with. Uh, you guys are hanging out. The tank divisions are. Okay! They're not bad. They're actually really decent. They're actually pretty darn decent. And we'll definitely use those when Civil War starts spawning and stuff like that. Also, I don't know what's going to happen in this campaign. I've not set it up in any shape or form. So we'll see. Uh, we're just missing a lot. We actually have a little bit of support equipment, huh? Workers unrest in the Rhineland. Workers in Western Germany are protect protesting their impressive government. This might be a chance we can or mortal enemy if we are prepared for a possible consequence of such choice. We must help them. We're not ready for this. As usual, we need to start thinking about the 1937 Sparta game. Where shall we be hosted? How many cont contests will it have? A how many delegations will come? The most important question in Harbour is whether they should host a city. A French city. We should choose a French city which will have the honor of hosting the 1937 Sparta game. Marseille? Hmm. Paris? Dijon? I've never done what was in Dijon. Let's do Dijon. Maybe we get slightly more uh, aluminum, maybe. We'll see. A socialist education. <coughs> Very nice. Train, 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 train. We're doing okay. It's not great. Doing okay. It's not great. We do have a couple marine divisions. Don't tell me they're, they're yep, they're eight combo with. God dang it. Actually, you guys are twelve combo with. Actually, can we support the left KMT here? Yeah, we can. That should be really good. Um, send the mountaineers. And we do have uh, formal Red Army generals here as well. And we have Tukhachevsky here as well, if you haven't noticed. Because he's a dude. He is certainly a dude. Oh, I don't want to lose anybody. Yeah. Ooh, this guy. Oh, but I don't like that. Nice. How many planes can we send? 20. That's not a lot of planes. Do we spare planes? Like any spare? No, we don't. Okay. Um, here. Sure, they're very superior, at least for the most part. Of course, then again, we have no fuel, but what else is new? Republicans, we in the Greek referendum. I just want to train these guys until they're done, so. Poland falls in nationalism, unfortunate. Oh, mostly. La Troisième Internationale. We were preparing for the Third International since 1927. Now we're nearly ready to hold the first Congress right here on the Mont uh, Martre Hill in Paris, built in the ruins of Sacre Coeur. For three days, a city will host delegates from almost every social, syndicalist, and Bolshevik party from all across the West. We, the French, will take the floor first. That is, if we still plan on hosting the first Congress and continue the work for the second international. The Congress will be held a week after May Day is planned. Wow, we got 16% more stability. That's really good, actually. Holy cow. That's a lot. The Union of Britain. Well, they already lost their plans, god dang it. Yeah, ding dongs. Mm, politically connected, I don't like that. Promotion Gas Gaston. Affranchement. Yes, sir. See what you can do. Guess we're getting involved early. Alright, so after this one, we will go with uh, Sir Aliens Rule Supreme, Labor Day. Today, all around the world, democratic, socialist, and syndicalist governments are celebrating International Workers' Day, La Labor Day, or May Day. May Day has become an international celebration of the social and economic achievements of the working class and labor movement, and is celebrated widely throughout the coming France. Celebrate. Chairman George Valois has uh, seized power and declared all patriotic workers to rise up and join him in this new society. The first Congress, if you want to about that, please go ahead. Send out invitations. Add Sir Aliens Rule Supreme, not bad. Remove Communard Ship, which is, you know, that's okay to get rid of because I don't want her organization. Oh, wow. Um, remove political extremism. Well, that sucks. All the delegates have arrived. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. Because that just happens all the time, so. Oh, you actually might want to do that. You might actually do well there, too. Chairman, if you want to about that as well, please go right ahead. I get 20% more stability, which is really nice, so. That's actually that's kind of ridiculous. 20% more stability? 
Because doesn't Ding Dong gives a speech? Jesus. Big Bill Haywood, thank you. Ah, oh, unemployment of radicalism in America. Women's role. Mm. Participation of working men of working women is necessary to achieve the role of Red Revolution. Yeah, that's the one I almost never choose. Policy of the Italian Peninsula. Guarantee your friends in Naples and aid when the time comes. Yeah. Party coming as for support. Pretty normal. Do you have any upgrades, sir? No, you're fast planner. Be offensive then. Why terror, of course. World Economic Crisis and the role of the Third National. An opportunity. Nice. Cambridge Conference. Oh. Along with the politicians in uh, London, a separate meeting of scientists from France and Britain took place in the old University of Cambridge. It was decided that the syndicalist countries should combine the research in order to develop a weapon capable of protecting the revolution from the increasingly aggressive imperial threat. Knowledge is power. Well, then I actually like to say a lot. And the First Congress? Nice. Heads of social syndicals or totalist parties, heads of state and governments, foreign ministers and journalists have all arrived in Paris for the opening of the first Congress of the Third International. We are the first host of Congress and humbly hope to use it to establish ourselves as the leading socialist country in the world. Pretty much. I'm just here to do damage. Hold on to these guys and oh god, you ding dongs. Cool. Uh you yeah, actually might be able to do what? okay there. Maybe help out. There you go. Nice. Yeah, this one definitely. Nice. Second, oh, second Soviet Russian Republic. Indo-Chinese strategy, Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. Homeland of the South, 13 times I heard the outcry in front of the guillotines of Yen Bai. 13 men sentenced to death, one by one, two meters away from climbing the scaffold. Look at this handsome guy. Look at this group, too. A French journalist, Louis Bond, witnessed the recent brutal German crackdown in Indochina. Our former colony, current bastion of German colonialism in the Far East. Now, General Jacques Doriot, a close friend of the late Indochinese revolutionary Ho Chi Minh, spoke for intervention in Indochina. Since the end of the Valkyrie, thousands of Indochinese students, soldiers, and workers have stayed in France and become firm revolutionaries. If we send them back with sufficient arms, they can organize an uprising in Cook and China. This could destabilize the German colonial empire and serve the, the world revolution. Absolutely. Ah. Complete industrialization? Ooh, that'd be really good. Nothing short of complete industrialization shall satisfy the needs of the new commune. It is of the most importance that the factories of France fill the skies of smoke. A uh, new day it ends, and the embers of steel and strength shall greet it. Good it on Siam. Very cool. Grab some of this as well. And boom. Nice. Better planes, very good. Let's get some uh, inner world carriers too. Because we have carriers, right? Oh, we don't. I thought we did. Oh, crap. Oh, there goes Finland, I guess. You want to help support the attack? Fine with me. Go there, there, and circle that guy and kill him off, maybe. Uh, fighters. That's something we could really work on. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Australian instrument their power. Immediately after winning the elections, the Australians under the leadership of Chairman Valois have begun their new national syndicalist plan for France. The past weeks have seen dissenting opposition crush and prominent non australians dearly gripping out of power. Post-election isolators are found dead under suspicious circumstances. Valois has ordered that all references to Fauré's chairmanship are to be heavily criticized by the new regime whilst the man himself has been put under house arrest under, under fears that he may rally the travelers and anarchists against Valois. France has once again undergone a radical transformation. Australians rule supreme. Oh, this would be good to get, too. Oh, but corporate cynic is alone. Ooh. Let's get this political power first. The bureaucracy and autonomous decision-making of the commune must go. The nation is a state, and therefore the state must be in full control of the nation. In order to fully enforce the ideals of Australians, the state must have centralized all government areas along with abolishing autonomous communes. Splendid. All right, then. You know what? We're going to shorten it up. If we can, like, start encircling people up here, that'd be really good. The Bastille Day Celebration. Today is the Fête Nationale. Celebration of the Storm of the Bastille in the beginning of the First French Revolution. Viva la Commune! All you gotta do is go there. That's all you gotta do. The National Worker State. The Commune of France succeeded in overthrowing the decaying French Third Republic, or for that we acknowledge the merits of the syndicalist regime. However, in recent times, the status quo of syndicalism has led to weakness. With Valois now in control of the revolution, it can be continued. The Commune will be reborn as a French national state, a nation that values strength and labor, a nation that reclaimed the glories that we lost after the Valkyrie. One of the first changes, of course, we must make is a new flag. Uh, we shall raise the Cerulean inspired Commune flag with the banner of the Revolutionary Legion. I love that they actually put this in here. Like, you can actually see what's supposed to be here. 
cool. Cerulean? Worker state or worker state? Hmm. I like both. I like the eagle, but I like the stuff in front of here. I kind of like the yellow border here right now, though. Hmm. I don't like that. What's that color? Hmm, I'll go this one. Cerulean Kami flag. Revolutionary Legion? Let's go Cerulean for now. Interesting flag. Hey, would you look at that? Die for our amusement. The Chinese must have their liberators at hand as well. Even though this is kind of open too, which is really bad, but whatever. Don't ask about that. Oh, they died! Oh, I love it. You should die too. You should die for our amusement. Actually, go here, 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 and there. And see what you can do. But yeah, centralized state. That'd be good. That'd help us slightly in combat as well. Jinhua. As long as these guys can hold the line, that's literally all that matters right now. Ah, they found us. Dang it. Hmm. You might be able to win here, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe not. Just hold, then. Let them attack us. If they're busy down there, you might be able to do that, actually. I mean, you could go all the way up there, too. Oh, they're about to win. Oh, we're about to lose here, aren't we? Mechanical computing. Report straight. Thank you, sir. Oh, crap. We gotta help these guys out, too. I forgot about all the stuff. Send volunteers. One division there. Um, it's not worth sending those guys. I'm actually gonna send the Marines. They're, they're really not very good. But they should work. There you go. Do we have an airbase at all? Yeah, we can. It's 40. That's better than what we had earlier. Uh, where are the planes? There they are. There you go. Oh, we do have planes up here too. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Planes too. 20? Here. We have no fuel, but whatever. We're gonna talk about that. There you go. Wait, they'll be there and we can edit them. Yeah, that's actually not terrible if they're doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. Who the heck is that? I like his mustache though. It's a really nice mustache. No oh, crap, that's not good. I want to force the attack, but we should be okay without it. Nice. One v one. Can you actually win there? Yeah. If you can hurry up and kill that division off, that'd be impressive. I'd be impressed. But now we're down here, and ooh. Just in case, come up here. See what you can do about that. Complete industrialization, centralized state, that's good. You know what's good, do this anyways. They know we like seeing them. Or that, corporate cynicalism. Cynicalism has modernized uh, the nation, however, the representation of the workers has not yet been fully satisfied. Therefore, we shall incorporate elements of corporatism into the union structure. Workers will be represented depending on their speciality and strengths, and when in return, the government will be in direct control of the workers. A win win. Force it. Go, 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 go. We don't have time for this. Jabal Shema. Good luck, Belgium. If we can kill that division off that IMB, it would be pressed. Quite impressed, actually. Here, take out the roads. Take out the roads. They can't, they can't supply themselves unless they do the port, which they do have, but still. Uh, what are we looking at here? What's over here? Anything here? Do we really care about guns? We need more guns. That kind of sucks, yeah. This is what it is, actually, for you. You can run out of supplies, which sucks. You went to this Clement. Voroshilov, that's fine. Whatever. You hold on here. Oh, you guys keep expanding that way. If you guys could leave, that'd be great. Come here and snipe that too. Conquest of Arel. Alright. 36 still. Artillery. Anything here? Armored trains, maybe? Be really good defense. Alright, so now there's just kind of camping here, which does suck. Supply wise, that's gonna suck. We're probably gonna get a circle if we come up this way. Or just hold and just take up all the damage. Just soak up the damage. You're still fighting here, huh? Not for much longer. Nice. Good job, guys. That's actually really, really good. I'm impressed. Like I said. Alright, so this is really dangerous. 
Um, and I, I don't want, I want to limit the amount of danger we have, so we're actually going to go this way and circle them that way, maybe. It's fine. You know what? They want to do that. That's okay. They too can die. It's fine. Whatever. Oh. Well, that kind of hurt us right there. That sucks. Hello, FOP request manpower. No workers from the Patagonia known as a FOP that requested that we aid their struggle by sending the manpower and equipment. Soon they'll face war with the Argentine government, and they need to be prepared for it when it happens. If they succeed, we can then become a permanent foothold of our cynicalism in South America. Of course. Centralized state. Convert cynicalism. Uh, direct war from Paris. Ooh, that's not bad. National revolutionary. Incorporating the revolutionary legion. It's not bad. Yeah, going down this way first, which is definitely just better. Ah, uh, for us, union loyalty. The unions are the backbone of the revolution. However, with many expressing dissenting opinions and breeding political opposition, the new regime must enforce their loyalty. All the unions must declare an oath to the chairman of the and incorporate the revolutionary legion. Huh? Uh, let's read about this one first. Revolutionary nationalism. French nationalism emerged from the first revolution when the peasantry rose up against the elites charged with the traitorous crime of ignoring the needs of the nation. The Surreillians have been handed the torch of nationalism, and through our propaganda campaigns, we will promise these ideals to the populace. Government centralization, with election over and the Surreillians securing the majority vote, Chairman Valois set out to accomplish his first order of business, centralizing the government. For too long, the French proletariat have been held back by the bureaucratic binds of the travailleurs. The Surreillians do not stand for this anymore. We must centralize the leadership and destroy the autonomous liberties granted to communes. Director Comité de Rensig General Roy, Pierre Lavelle, has addressed the Senate on behalf of Alwa inserting the legality of these changes in the name of protecting the revolution. A strong people require a strong state, unlimited power. A strong people require a strong state. The oil question. There's always been decades since we forced the capitalists out, yet we can't rest. Not until they're all defeated will, will we be safe, but to defeat them, the workers' spirit will not be enough. There are no two ways about it without our oil planes, tanks, and ships are nothing but scrap, and no matter the skill of the crew. Since we first realized the issue, monumental efforts have been spent attempting to cultivate domestic sources of oil. Some, like the shale oils in Scotland, have been seeing mild success. Other like French oil fields have been t near total failures. Fortunately, many saw this coming, and so resources had already been put forward researching synthetic resources of oil. If we didn't divert enough resources in this direction, it might just be possible. It will have to be enough, and we've already finished off and make sure that the left came to one in China. The Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds. The peoples of Indochina finally thrown off the yoke of colonial exploitation. This is a great day for all socialist nations of the world and a major defeat for the German imperialists. Our military observers are in Indochina have stated the guerrilla tactics adopted by the revolutionaries, but their usefulness remains to be seen. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Enforcing the loyal Union loyalty of direct rule from Paris. Paris is a seat of power for the Commune, the historic capital of the French people, and the more recently capital of the Workers' Revolution, the Paris Commune of 1871. It laid the foundations for the cynical state, and now once again the true revolutionaries are in control. Reports have come to Paris. Bearing news of violent oppression of the cynical street and fires in Haute Savoie, who are attempting to organize a referendum on the region's return to French governance. A Swiss government in Bern or Bern has sent a military force to suppress a vote and violence has broken out over the legality of the referendum. We can't ignore this violence against our people. Freshmen bleed on French soil. Also, we're, as you can tell, we're here down here in uh, the live KM KMT is still trying to fight off these guys, which is going all right so far. Going a okay. Up next, also. I guess the Civil War's fire. Huey Long did get elected as president. Uh, pro syndicalist victory in Romandie. Thanks to ill advised measures taken by the Swiss authorities uh, to put an end to their union's demands for better wages and legal protections of labor rights. And their public display of violence against our people in Haute Savoy, we have enough political capital to begin efforts to suppress syndicalist movements in the nation and attempt to retake Haute Savoy. This is a great opportunity for the communes to forge stronger ties with these syndicalist agitators. And pro French syndicalists could assist us in our goal of recovering Haute Savoy. However, the pro German and pro Austrian conservatives will probably try to topple these workers' elected representatives by all means available, including brute force. Try to gain influence over the newly uh, socialists. You try it, I guess. And uh, Don Rupon, Republic, not bad. Head on in. We gotta kill these guys off and continue going south. I don't know if these guys could actually win, but we got enough army XP, which we're gonna go with superior firepower. Actually, unless there's something in our focus tree that tells us not to go that way. Um, communal army. Ah, we did go down this way. Power the rifle, which wouldn't be bad. Mm, nothing here too much. Speed cold, huh? More softies. <coughs> Big thank you. Thank you very much. And what's next? Oh, we also grab Andre Marti for more organization and less supply consumption. And over here, we're going to get more... I don't know. 
Let's go with offense, maybe. I'm really trying to force a whole bunch of army XP here, so. That's really my goal. Lots and lots and lots and lots of army XP. Take on Ching. Oh, this guy's wounded, I guess, huh? That sucks. Sucks to be you. And then, anything else here? Not too much. Close air support. We're, we don't really use that. 0.09. These guys are 0 0.0. Oh, six. Oh, okay. Revolutionaries raid Union headquarters. Within the Commune of France, there are numerous unions vying for control of the country's politics. These unions hold uh, different, different loyalties. Some support the anarchists, some of the tribalos, and even a few loyal to the Jacobins. <sighs> These ideological differences are unacceptable and stand in the way of the true French unity. If we're to move forward with centralizing the government, we need to unite the people under our political beliefs. Revolutionary Legion Commander Marcel Bocard has launched coordinated raids on important union headquarters with hundreds of union leaders being arrested under the crime of disloyal ideals. Once again, the Legion has succeeded in defending the revolution. We shall bring the unions back into the fold through negotiations or force. Incorporate the Revolutionary Legion, though. The L'Armée Populaire de la Commune de France is a full of anarchists who cannot be trusted. We must purge the military hierarchy and integrate our own loyal legionary comrades. Com uh, Commander Bucard and Field Marshal Doriot have informed us that revolutionary legionnaires have already dealt with disloyal generals. Now is the perfect time to launch a full takeover. As we should. The 1937 Spartacade. It was opening ceremony was held in Dijon, attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The French team carried the torch, the British team the hammer, and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog to the location where they were to be symbol. When pieced together, they formed the international symbol of cynicalism. What a glorious day for the working man! Sub detection capture attack. And 0.09. Well, bad weather penalty. That's fine. And now they should have no way to get more supplies, and they should eventually die. It's that's also. Second American Civil War begins. Not bad. Ooh, the feds have New York City. We'll see how long that lasts. <clears throat> Need more motorized. We got plenty of guns for now, but it's never going to be enough, in all honesty. Logistics, 37. Anything over here? Maybe some anti air. Maybe I end up don't using that. But the rise of the Black Guard. In direct response to the oppressive Cerulean rule over the political opposition, anarchists have unified under one, under one movement. Ooh, uh, okay, the Spartacate. Neither good nor bad. Uh, name the Black Guard. Its purpose is to destabilize France through bombings, assassinations, and vandalism, inspired partially by the illegalist movement, which has taken over some power within the rebel circles. The Guard has made it very clear that it will stop nothing to destroy the national workers' state. It's rumored that the main leader of the Black Guard is the famed Ukrainian anarchist who was exiled to France, Nestor Makhno. The Sorellians, after hearing about these rumors, ordered a raid of Makhno's residence, however. Upon the initial raid, Makhno was nowhere to be found, further fueling these rumors. The underground movement has also so far proved difficult to deal with due to its secretive nature and seemingly random attacks. We must put a stop to this rebellion. We shall see. Good. And don't let them live. That's all the army we got. That sucks. But it's alright. The end of the Spotacade. It's ended and it's been a tremendous success with a great many people enjoying the games. It's a very good move to join the Spotacade. The Olympics of the working class. Too bad it ended. Ah, beautiful. They earned that army XP, so we will use it on them. The annexation of Romandie. If you want to demand out Savoy, please go ahead. The brave workers and peasants of the French-speaking Swiss cantons have won their fight against the reactionary forces of the Bayon government at the unanimous request of the newly established Commune of Geneva in Romandie. The Comité de Salut Public has proclaimed their union with the Commune of France. While the local militias are being integrated in the communal army, French motorized units supported by air forces are headed towards the new border to prevent any retaliatory offensive from a revanche Swiss government. And the government is retaking control of the Haute Savoy region. Glory to the workers of Romandie! That's awesome. Militia? I hate militia. No offense to the little militia, but... Beautiful. Which means these guys are probably going to join them over there, but keep your friends close. And your enemies closer. So we're probably going to do this eventually. It raises down a little slower, or lower, so... Um, in the meantime, you ten, uh, actually you three for now. Hang on right there. <clears throat> With the Confederation General du Travail under a complete Australian domination, we now face the problem of other political factions being left directionless and redundant. The Jacobins and Anarchists have already been declared enemies of the state due to their destructive beliefs, however. There are those within the Travailleurs who can be swayed, comrade. Uh, Marcel de Hatt has promoted the idea of approaching certain Travailleurs who hold influence over the unions by providing them with minimal powers we could better position ourselves as a legitimate representation of the workers' but. Comrade Marcel Bucard has repeated this plan, demanding that all political rivals should be removed from power, seeing their previous hostility to the Sorellians. What comrade should we listen to? 
Do I have to lose a point? Ooh, I don't lose 20% stability. Ooh, that's 25% stability. We won with Bukhar earlier. But we're going to lose 20, get 25%. Or you lose 20% stability and get 50 more political power. A fat 25% more is... Oh my gosh. We're turning to the illegalists, though. The illegalists were a faction of anarchists, prominent of France and Italy during the early 1900s. Staunchly devoted and complete individualism, inspired by both. <clears throat> The theories of Max Stirner and the militarism of anarchists like Alba Libertad and Novavo Scholl. The movement would engage in criminal activities justified as individual rebellions against the state, rejecting morality and legality, illegal assault, crimes of punishment, or pursuit of one's own desires and individuality. Sounds like fun. With the totalitarian regime of the Sorelians, this strand of anarchism that is seen as radical even by anarcho syndicalists also surfaced amongst workers wishing to rebel against a national worker state. Notorious against Notorious anarchist Nestor Makhno himself has begun to slightly drift towards illegalism. Witnessing the failures of his anarcho communist comrades in Ukraine and the failure of anarcho syndicalists in both the Trevaluos and anarchists to prevent the rise of the Sorelians, the ideas of the complete abolition of hierarchy and the use of crime has been seen by Makhno as necessary to free France. There are even rumors that members of the nation, notorious Bonnet Gang not only survived their infamous shootout, but have been advising Makhno as prominent blackguard lieutenants. Stop right there, a criminal scum. Oh, the left is winning here. And by the left, I mean the left came to you. Obviously. And after that, a modern army for a modern world. The respected general minister of the economy, Jacques Doriot, has provided Chairman Valois with a detailed plan to reorganize the military into a modernized unified fighting force, commanded by the hierarchical structure loyal to the chairman. Under his direction, the military of might of France will be pushed to its full potential. Now, we definitely don't need to be making re uh, refineries right now, or re infrastructure, I should really say. Go with that, and keep making some military factories. That'll be very good as well. We need way more motorized. We're doing well on guns, but we're going to be making a lot more divisions anyways. <clears throat> and with the light of the uh, mountaineers over coming this way, should be fine. Ah, yes, yes. Finally. Actually, this might be a good time to send some armor to you guys. Can we send two divisions? Not bad. Flavignier? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't speak French. I took one of your French in high school, so. Alright. So good. Bien. 15. Go with a bunch of fighters. We're, we're just going to need a bunch of fighters down here. And. It's fine. Spanish Civil War. Be a little surprised if the left came to cannot win in China now. Comrade Bloom's call for solidarity with Spain. A civil war ravages the Iberian Peninsula. Stories of white terror storm across the Pyrenees, horrifying their populace. Throughout the communes, spontaneous gatherings in congresses have convened to gather funds and material for our Spanish commerce to show the unwavering support offered to the CNT FAI. At such an event, a Trevelyan delegate, Leon Bloom, has delivered a powerful speech urging the government to support press on its support for the Spaniard workers and peasants by uniting an international people's front against the reactionaries of monarchists. This popular front speech has been widely praised for eloquence and solid socialist conviction. Monsieur Bloom's fame as a public speaker has certainly been approved. Most eloquent comrade. Most eloquent. Can I actually go that way? That'd be a lot more fun. Disperse industry? Why not? Extraction? Why not? We do have five research slots, so like I say, why not? Supply them? Yes. They are in the teeters of the CNT tears on the brink. We must secure Spain or southern border for socialism. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Um, that's okay. Anti tank. Uh, you know what? Let's just use that. Anyways, we might need it in the future. We'll see. Ah, oh, we wanted to encircle them. You, know, you hold. There you go. Support the attack. Nice. Now we're going to spend time with armor. Clement might not be the man for the real man for the job, but that's okay for now. Alright, so these guys here. Um, I'd like to see us go right here and just cut that, those two divisions off. Let's see. Then again, we need more fuel. So how about we stop training our guys? What do we have here? What's our daily gain? 154 is really bad. Let's import two. Um, Persia? CSA. There you go. I mean, that's kind of suicidal, I'm not going to lie, but you know what? I'm okay with it. 
Oh, look at this guy. I've never seen that guy before. And if that's the case, I'm gonna come down here and uh, figure out what they're up to. Come on, guys. Let's go. I think independence. Force it. We will not be told no. We will go in and march. Go in and go, in and go there. It's fine. Hopefully these guys will close in here too. Alright. Your goal is right there. Nice. We're quite well in China, I'd say. Um... Yeah, you must help out. See what you can do. Ah. Interdiction, well... Really, that one's the one we want to go with. And tactical bombers, too. So. Nice. Help them out. There you go. You're right there, you encircle them, too. That'd be pretty nice. Destroy enemy divisions, that'd be great. Oh, hello. Ah. Construction 2. Any other ship stuff? I mean, there's always a lot of ship stuff we could probably end up doing, but still. <clears throat> what about this way? Did they actually take Madrid? Is no one guarding Madrid? The Revolutionary Legion takes over the military. The Revolutionary Legion was established during the French Civil War as a paramilitary force to protect revolutionaries from reactionary mobs. Since then, the Legion has greatly increased in both number and power. Legion outposts can be found across France, and Cerulean Red Eagle can be found flying high above well armed militant Sword of Alois. Since the victory of the Ceruleans, there have been suggestions to merge the Legion with the French Revolutionary Armed Forces, despite resistance from noble generals such as Maurice Gamelan on this day. The Legion will officially be incorporated into the military under the command of General Marcel Bocard. March on honorable candidates. An anti German. A revanchism. The despicable imperialists across the border have humiliated the French for the last time. The German pop people are a threat to global peace, and this has proven no greater than the tyrannical rule over alsace Rhine. If the French people are to arise from the ashes of the failed republic, they must confront their nemesis to the east. Absolutely. And get more stability in the process, yes. Seriously, can we take... Can we... Are they even trying? Bruh. Go deep in, deep in. Well, if you can, whatever. The best two day celebrations, Viva la Commune! Bruh. Look here you are, take him out, take him out. You can kill some German divisions too! Oh, that'd be so lovely. German and Russian state divisions. Goes the Western Command Center, good job guys. Alright, so we really want to focus on these guys down here. Uh, I've done this before and it's been quite disastrous, so we'll try this, we'll try it. Left camp team, nice job, guys. Oh, you actually made it in a circle yourself. Yeah, that's pretty good. I right, take that top back. Uh, maybe instead of doing that one, come down to what's supply like around here? There's a supply base right there, which is not bad. We actually might want to do something like this and then go that way. Hey, would you look at that? Go in, have fun, force the attack. And kill them all off. Nice. Very nice, actually. Oh, why do you have 80 fighters? Oh, what are you guys doing here? Nothing. Bye. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. I mean, you're just kind of hanging out, huh? Well, as long as you don't lose, that's the most important thing, I guess. Just kind of hang out and take their attacks. Finish off these guys, too. Okay, then just go to Jinan, and you'll probably win pretty easily. Dude, just go to Jinan. What is wrong with you? Tolis win and Barty coming? I love totalism until I don't. 
Puerto Rico declares independence. Pretty normal. Nice. As long as they can't pierce us, that's the most important thing. War propaganda? You know, why not? We could use some good old war propaganda. CNT's been doing really well. They are getting attacked quite a bit, but whatever. I want to finish off this area first, if possible. He still might be to win. Oh, hello. Eh, force it because he can. I don't want to have to force it, but, you know, if I have to, I have to. Beautiful. Yeah, I didn't expect us to do really well here in China. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, we, well, that was an absolute total domination. A victory battle royale, some might say. Can they actually pierce us? Um, there are multiple combats, but no, not really. I don't think they can. These tanks. We actually start with relatively okay tank divisions. Logistics would be pretty good, too. Or try armor a little bit, but that's fine. You know, instead of motorized recon, we get some flame tanks. You know what? We should probably get some flame tanks. Let's research some, some, some tanks next. Oh, we have 36 tanks. Okay, that's not bad. Some engines. Throw it into here. Um, I'm not going to use any of that stuff. So this is the tank we have right now. It's all right. Radio would be nice. Secondary turrets. Hurts our armor a little bit. Special modules, wet on the sword. That'd be pretty good. Uh, diesel. Oh. Production cost goes up, that's fine. No, track suspension. There you go. So that's a better one we can have used right now. Go with three, take off three, and then auto design. Save as new. Series B, save. And then, oh, small armaments. Oh, close air port. Uh, automatic fire, medium armaments. Oh. We'll get flame tanks eventually. How do we get flame tanks? I don't know. I've never actually really used them before, so. <clears throat> That's for recon. Commune is taken in China. Today, a meeting is held in Paris by the French Friends of the China Association. In a very rare case, both the old Jacques and Marcel Kachin and Soraylane General Jacques Toria attended the meeting and spoke before a closer relationship with Indochina, a newly independent socialist country in Asia. They argued that the commune is not allowed to help the Indochinese people to win their independence, but the responsibility of France for a former colony does not conclude. We can and should offer to the people their special relation it pass, as it passes through the pr present period of transition on its way to a new era. An era of pride and independence, an era of enlightenment and socialism. An era which, when contrast with the bleak past of colonial oppression, will truly represent the ideal of a socialist uh, revolution. And this is soldiers against imperialism? It's assisting the inspiring, inspiring growth of Indochinese socialism in the economy. Where can we get this? Foe? Yeah, why not? Nice. Um, actually, it should be over here. It would be over here? I can't remember. Oh, maybe it's in our artillery. Guns. Automatic cannons. I forget. Where is it? Improved automatic cannons. Improved anti-air guns. Oh, man. This is down here. Oh, half-track suspensions. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let me know. What do, you, what do you use for tank designs? If you're still watching, thank you for watching, first of all. What do you use for tank designs? Let me know. I, I would like to know. What do you guys use, though? So I'm open to suggestions. So... Ah, the General Doriot restructures the military. Up until now, the L'Armée Populaire de la Commune de France has been composed of ideologically dedicated and loyal soldiers. However, Rife is, uh, with the organization, self-driven goals, and lazy generals unable to efficiently communicate with each other. According to uh, official Cerulean support that ends now, with General Jacques Doriot in control of the military affairs, the armed forces can finally receive the modernization it severely requires. All the most loyal generals receive promotions directly from Chairman Valois, and the differing militias will be organized into a unified standing army. The nation's increased focus on industry will allow for the highest grade military weapons and gear to be provided to all soldiers. These are the promises that Doyle has pledged in return. Valois has granted him unrestricted authority in military affairs, and he now reports only to the Chairman himself. 
The military, after all, is a protector of the revolution and the day of infamy. Oh, no. Our dear leader, Chairman Bill Wall, shall deliver a grand speech to be broadcasted to the entire nation. His wise words and strong actions will resonate with the working patriots of France and strike a clear message to foes inside and outside France. The Sorellians are in charge. Nothing can stop the new regime from achieving its goals. Whatever, whatever could go wrong with this? Absolutely nothing. French Swiss flow into France. To unable to find the truth of a unified France under a cynicalist regime, the reactionary government of Switzerland has begun a new campaign of persecution against the population of French-speaking Swiss still within their borders. It results in a flow of migrants over the border into our nation, and many have shown an interest in taking up arms for an eventual liberation of their homeland from the reactionary menace. Here you are welcomed with open arms in the day of infamy. On this day, the entire nation mourns the tragedy of our late chairman. While Chairman Valois was giving a fiery speech to the enthusiastic public beneath the Arc de Triomphe, three anarchist assassins managed to get past security in the crowd. One of them proclaimed Valois as a traitor to the revolution, firing his pistol at the bewildered Valois while other two threw homemade explosives at the stage. The resulting blast injured all three men on the stage, and the latter two being cabinet members Marcel Deat and director of the Comité de Resignement General Pierre Laval. All three were immediately driven to the nearest hospital, whilst brave legionnaires returned fire at the terrorist scum. Two were shot dead while the last is in captivity. Thankfully, comrades de Aut and Laval survived the explosion with minor injuries, however, Valois did not, despite the hospital's best efforts. The resulting blasts and stray bullets were too much for the aging leader. Our dear chairman was a true revolutionary, and his ideals will not be forgotten, nor will his death be in vain. The difficult task of choosing a successor now falls upon the Sorellian High Council. In the meantime, a recovering Laval has been instated as a temporary head of government until successor is chosen. The fate of France has once again been radically altered. The flame of Sorellianism will not be extinguished. Glory in death to the chairman. Oh, no. Pick the event option that increase anarchy. When you get the march on Paris, select the first option. So, Who shall lead? Oh, France is in chaos. Oh, it's uh, dear leader dead. Anarchy in the streets and comrades fighting each other. The people need a new leader now more than ever. Add black guard insurgency. Oh, crap. And then so, remove Sorellian's rule supreme. Okay, so now more anarchy and then march on Paris. Fine. Cool. March of the true proletariat. Ooh. Vanguard of Sorel. I kind of want to do both sides, but <clears throat> we're going to do the one side that helps us out more. Goodbye, Valois. I know I could be saying his name completely wrong. I, I, I have no idea. So, Oh, well. He's French. I will have enough resources by the time the war starts. We're making a lot of cannons. And by cannons, I mean artillery, which is basically a cannon. Just a giant flipping cannon. I'm going to go and see if he can do anything here. Can they actually pierce us? They might be able to. No, they can't. That's good. Go, tank boys, go! Because these guys are actually spreading through here like cancer, which is actually really disgusting. Um, I'm going to actually come over here and circle that division. Let's finish off here first, though. And do we have them? Yes, no, maybe so. Kiva's gone. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's, let's actually start doing some stuff here. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Let's go actually hold first. See what they can do. Ah, tensions arise within the Sorellians. After the death of George Valois, the Sorellians have split between several factions inside the party. The largest and most influential ones being the Vanguard, led by Marcel Deat, and the ultra-national cynical, led by Marcel Bocard. Both factions have been actively fighting for our dominance over the party, and absorbing the smaller factions in an attempt to rival each other. The Vanguard have been the most influence over the Sorellian aligned unions in the Old Guard. Members who are involved in the founding of the Sorellians, while the ultra-national cynicalists have a loyalty to the Revolutionary Legion. Caught in between the crossfires, the newly inaugurated president of the Sorellian Council, Pierre Laval, who has forged close relations with both factions in an attempt to maintain some sort of stability. Can it get any worse? Oh, yes. But march with the true proletariat. Maybe, maybe, death of the traitors, huh? Well, that'd be really cool to do. Uh, we probably won't do that one. After the assassination of Georges Valois, the Sorellians have been in chaos and paranoia over who will lead the Sorellians next, after a lengthy discussion within the Sorellian Council. It was agreed, although by no margin, that Marcel Bocard shall take charge. As an influential figure among the workers of France and holding loyalty over the Legion, and the Sorellians believe that he alone can enforce stability? Well, we'll see about that. As long as it can't pierce us, that's the most important thing. Why are you taking their attack here, you ding-dongs? Oh, they're forcing the attack. I was wondering why I was taking so long. They're literally just forcing the attack, so. Which is fine, whatever. Let them perish. Force the defense. And they're gonna really start dying like crazy. There you go. Now force the attack. Actually, you don't even have to force the attack. They'll die anyways. And go right there. No. Die. Oh, she has some resources too. That's really nice. Oh, can we not do that? No, that's not good. Huh. Okay, whatever. Hey, good job, guys. Um, now I said you guys come down here and do that. So, bing, bong, boom. Have fun. Who shall eat? Wow, look at all this stuff we have here. 
Sorelian division stuck. Black Guard launches bombing campaign. In response to Sorelian aggression and uh, discrimination against anarchists and anarcho syndicalists, the Black Guards started a bombing campaign, bombing any business, office, or administrative building related to the Sorelians. Do these animals have no civility? No. Force it. We gotta win fast. Kill them and two, those two divisions off. Perfect. Nice. Happy 1938, everybody. Research speed, yes, sir. Jean is learning quite a lot. Oh, oh, we actually got there too, huh? No. And then backtrack that way if you can. Actually, or don't. Um, I don't think you'll be able to get them out in time. Oh, I could be wrong, and... Oh, we actually got them. Nice, good job, guys. That's actually really decently... Pretty, pretty done good. Come back over here now. Because they are attacking like crazy all over the entire front. It's kind of crazy now. And by kind of crazy, I mean it's very crazy. Get out of there because supply is so bad. Everyone's hating the Austrians, which is fine with us. So the goal is make these three stacks all 24. And that should be enough to hold the enemy. Especially when we start throwing a lot of artillery inside them too. Patagonia requests rifles. The Patagonians are requesting a bunch of rifles from our national stockpile to aid them in the struggle against the Buenos Aires regime. Send them. Oh yeah. 1,800 pieces is not bad. Oh, shh. I'm not going to... Uh, that does not exist. We don't see that. Um... We barely have enough to supply that money. Nice. Mm. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> Excuse him. Well, Pierre Laval calls for Sirlian unity. Uh, the current president of Sirlian Council, which is currently acting as representative. Acting as the interim government, has called for unity in the Cerulean part in response to the factional division. He has called for the vanguardists and ultranational syndicalists to take peace until the Black Guard insurgency is dealt with. In the most recent speech to the council, he said it would be useless to fight um, for dominance over the nation, or the party cannot even assert dominance over its own internal affairs. Get out of the fence and pick a side. Well, I mean, this one says pick the option to increase anarchy. Pick a side. Oh. Wait, what? Use just a fight. They're, we require unity. Get out the fence and pick a side. Yeah. You know what? Just in case. Not bad. <coughs> March on Paris. As long as they can't pierce us. Of course, we are fighting over here. Let's, let's not attack there. You can hold. You can help attack it down here, right? Nice. Who shall lead? Ah, oh, I knew that would happen eventually. You want help with that, maybe? They didn't need political power, right? Well, we have to wait. Um, Working women. Oh, this one would be pretty good to do as well. Mission of the Barty Commune. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh, avant-garde. Damocles Project, not bad. Government Revolution Ideals. Direction of the economy? Let's do this one first. Give more support, stability, and more political power. While the empirical teachings prove themselves easily, the virtues of the commune are harder to communicate to our population. While ominous sounding, we must create an institution ready to help us remind our two people the value of the revolution and prevent reactionary influences from implanting them. Now you can do that much better, hopefully. Could you pull a fast one and go straight down there? Maybe. and which means they cut these guys off in half. Can you go actually towards Seville? Come on. Fan announces their ambitions. Cordoba, maybe? Cut these guys down off, which is great. Vanguards and ultranational syndicalists run rise in the streets. After the death of George Valois, the Sorelian factions of vanguards and ultranational syndicalists have been riding in the streets, fighting each other despite both behind and under being under the same party. This is, however, not the best position for either factions, anarchists, and anarcho syndicalists are growing stronger. And further growing further, France slowly becomes the ideal vision of anarchy. Oh no. And but some might say, oh yes. Ah, they did find us. Not good. Not good. It was an attempt. Oh, crap. This type of risky attempt is not worth doing. Yeah, I might have made a mistake here. Then again, I mean, the AI really should be uh, thinking a little smarter. So I'm going to make sure we don't make the mistake 
And we'll keep going on, and after this one, we'll do direction of the economy. Our economy is fair to workers and generally quite potent with while reactionary economies live and die on the whole whims of capitalists. But internal conflicts have prevented us from steering our economy. It's time to call for meeting the BGT. So these questions are once and for all settled by one of the communist factions. The Black Guard takes advantage of the chaos. The Black Guard has unsurprisingly taken advantage of the ongoing turmoil ravaging France. Storming political assemblies, take, uh, taking politicians as hostages until their demands are fulfilled. The Sorellans haven't responded to this aggression as they're call calling and dealing with political and fighting in riots on the streets. France stands on the brink of anarchy. And now I've made sure that we didn't commit such a stupid, stupid encirclement up uh, that we tried earlier. It is what it is. My bad. Radical socialist influence going up. Very nice. They're still doing Department of Revolutionary Ideals. And we're just kind of hanging out here with our tanks. Having a good old time. You mean a bunch of tanks. In Spain. What could be better than this? Winning in Spain could be better than this, but whatever. Um, up to eight? Why not? There you go. Hey, we're doing relatively okay. Keep bombing the living crap out of them if you can. I've been just trying to take victory points. Not victory, uh, not victory points, but supply points. Do not lose Madrid. If we lose Madrid, this entire front collapses. And that would not be good. Um, I, I want a snake so bad, but the divisions are so sparse right now. Oh, we have eight more divisions. Oh, would you look at that? You're done. New front. Um, you guys are okay. Uh, Marines, you guys go down there. No, you guys are right there. There you go. Um, as you can tell, I reloaded the game, save, because I had to. <laughs> um, you know what? You go here. You do this. Marcel Bocard for... Well, you're going to die soon, probably. Whatever. And then, so you guys just kind of hang out and uh, go right here. Actually, if anything, you guys go here, too. You guys double up on this border. Nice. Yeah, we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Uh, I don't want to fight these uh, militias, but it's fine. Come on, please attack us here. Come on. And we're about to get another army doctrine. So, alien politicians executed by the Black Guard militia. Very cool. Good job, guys. Uh, after we get no response, the Black Guard militants have started executing Sorelian politicians held as hostages. The Black Guard generals have said that they will again not stop until their demands are fulfilled. Their demands are the replacement of current leadership with the Black Guard le leader, Nestor Machno. The permanent banning of Sorelians from office and execution of Marcel de Alta and Marcel Bucard until them. The march towards Paris continues. The end is nigh. Yes, it is. And there we go. I, we can't afford to lose bo that one. Uh, if we can get it here, that'd be good. We can maybe start slipping, start slipping down that way, maybe. Then with this project. Organizer, health planner's not bad. <coughs> Come on. Come on. And, oh, we got him. Nice. Get down here. All right. Just, you cannot lose Madrid. Oh, you can't lose this tile either. Oh. Chile wishes to join international. The workers' revolution in Chile has been greatly successful while shining model in the southern hemisphere of the revolutionary ideals. However, they feel threatened by reaction neighbors and other imperial states and threats and feel like it's high time to join international. Absolutely. Anarcho-syndicalist unions open and declare loyalty to the Black Guard Union. The anarcho-syndicalist unions have declared loyalty to the Black Guard and their leader, Lenstor Machno. Yay! While the collaboration of anarchists and anarcho-syndicalists uh, has been noted, this development means the Black Guard has a full leadership of the anarchist factions is very threatening. Developments of the Sorellians as the Black Guard are currently stopped outside of Paris, they have 24 hours left to fulfill the demands. Traitors. Traitors all. And then... Kaboom. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know if you guys can actually win there. We'll see, and then... I thought it was 24 hours. Ah, the Red Flood. No. No. Oh. I keep forgetting to keep switching this around. 80, and get, and now let's just start working on... Whatever. You know what? You're almost done with that. Finish that one first. 19, three days. It's fine, whatever. And... There you go. You know what? You're almost done with that one, too. Slightly more rubber. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Ah, they're finally taking Cordoba, of course. Should send Mountaineers. and can probably move these guys around a bit more and stuff like that, so. But, as long as they're, you know, fighting hard and not losing Madrid, that's good. Ooh, you lost here. That's not good. Can you actually help out there, maybe? No, yes. 
Black Guards use in Paris. The Sirloin Sam is up. The Black Guards march into Paris, killing anyone and everyone in the streets who dares oppose them. The Sirloin Party HQ is currently being stormed as loud gunshots and screaming are heard inside. No doubt this will be a bloody day in the history of French politics. Once again, do you know savoir toi? Oh, boy. Loyal Legionnaires fend out the attackers. Now nah, we're good. Ah, now look at that black state. I love the Black Guard. The Free Territory of France has no leader, apparently. Very nice. And the counter revolution. The tides of change push this nation once more to another direction. Leaders, regimes, and armies, they all rise and fall. However, the spirit of France is eternal. All Ottomans, armes, citoyens, formes, vos bataillons, marchands, marchands, qu'un sang empour, abrive nos salons. France once again faces radical change in direction. The prior revolutionaries failed to establish their will over the nation. France will once more go down the path of certainty and rebirth. A leader? One of the most important decisions we must first make is the position of leadership. We've already declared the free territory uh, to be a leaderless anarchist society. And we're still in third international. Ooh, we're black th in third international. I love that. We can fully commit to this and announce that officially there's no representative leader for the French people. And this decision is supported by the prominent and illegalists within the Black Guard. But some mostly Machno loyalists have proposed proclaiming Machno the symbolic military defender of anarchy. A position that would lack any political authority, however, would acknowledge a form of hierarchy, even if such a position is only one of military necessity. As stands seen as hypocritical by some, it should be noted that even if we choose to have no leader, Machno is still a beloved figure among the people. And the most powerful man in France, his military might and political influence would certainly not disappear, no masters. I want to do that. The Black Father? Do we want a Black Father? I'm going to go with No Masters. Just, it just makes more sense. I mean, really, realistically, it is it is Machno leading us, and no, that's why he's on the thumbnail. But still. But after this one, I think that's going to end us for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you do. Check out my, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we push on forward with the free territory of France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.